I'm in the process of uh, creating these frets that are on the face of the canted corner in the serpentine chest of drawers. And there are two of these frets that are 27 and 3 quarters inch long. So I've cut it into three pieces, three separate pieces, um, that make up the full length. So when these are installed on the cabinet, they'll be installed in, in a series like this, um, using hot hide glue on that outward facing canted corner. I am using a very small uh, jeweler's blade here. It comes in a little packet that, uh, that I don't seem to have handy right here. And this size is a little bit big. There are a couple sizes I have and this is the larger of the two jewelers saw blades that that I have in stock. So I've poked, I've marked out all these shapes using the template that I have in SketchUp and and then I drill a, a 1 8 inch hole in each of the waste areas and then that blade then can poke through that those holes and then the next thing I do is tighten the top of the blade and then there's a adjustment for the tension on the blade and I turn it all the way up to five and I'll just zoom in now and show you a little bit closer how this works I cut these into three lengths because if it's just one length then it's very hard to manage in the sawing process so it needs to be broken up into smaller lengths. So I can go to a corner of this shape and then I can just spin in that corner, rotate around and then start to cut again. And wherever I get to that corner, I apply pressure so that the back of the blade is on the wood, not the front. And then I can trim it up a little bit, turn it off, and then I give up the tension all the way and then loosen the top and pull the piece. Oh, I see, I missed a, I didn't do all the whole corner here. Let me finish that. Another corner. So then I loosen the tension and remove the catch on the top of the blade, put it through another hole, reconnect at the top, put the tension back on, and I'm ready to go again.
Okay. That's the process. Oops. And and I, I'm doing this outside in front of the shop. It's uh, usually this saw is back in a dark corner. I've got the nice light with the sun, and this takes several hours to do, so this is a comfortable spot to do this job. 